Hey guys, so I'm starting off with my eyebrows done and my eyelids primed. And first I'm going to go into this ColourPop Pressed Eyeshadow and it's in the color Paper Tiger. And it's just like a yellow tan type of color and I'm just going to use that as a transition color to add some warmth um, and color back into my eyelid space. Next I'm going in with another ColourPop pressed eyeshadow and this is in the color Cinnaball. It is a orange um, corally color and now I'm just going to start applying that and blending it into my upper crease. Next, I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette, and I'm going to take these two brown colors at the bottom. They're like um, warm earth tone kind of browns, and I'm just going to apply that into my crease just to warm up my crease even more against that orange color we originally applied. Next, going into my Lorac Unzip Palette, I'm going to take this burgundy-ish brown brick color and I'm going to also mix it with this, you know, traditional brown color and I'm going to apply that to my outer V. You see here, and just blending it in, only keeping it in the outer part of my eye. Then going back into my Sweet Peach palette, I'm going to take this black color here and just smoke out my outer V even more. Now I'm going to take this NYX Glitter Adhesive and I'm just going to take an eyeshadow brush and apply it all over my mobile lid as you see here. And then I'm going to use a pigment. Um, my camera was having a hard time focusing on the pigment. Pigment, But this is a pigment I got from a Ipsy package. And it is the color Melting Maple. So I'm just going all over my mobile lid with this pigment. I, it's a really pretty pigment. It's like a copper gold type of color and then I'm also going to take a pigment it's made by Ulta it's from the Ulta brand and it's a dark brown pigment and it's in the color Rivera and I'm just applying that to my outer V and I'm also going to go in with some of that brick eyeshadow we used in the Lorac palette and just kind of smoke out my outer corner. You guys know I love a nice smoky eye. I think they look really good on me but I'm just alternating between the two. And then I added my liner and lashes off camera. The lashes are um, from a wholesale vendor on AliExpress. Now moving on to my face. I'm starting by priming my face with my Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer and then I'm going to go into my foundation and for my foundation I'm using my L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation in the color Coco and I'm going to blend that out using a damp beauty sponge from Eco Tools. For concealer, I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty Match Stick in the color Latte and I'm going to apply it under my eyes, on my chin, my cupid's bow, the bridge of my nose, and my forehead and then I'm also going to blend it out using a smaller blending um, sponge that's also damp.
So I'm going to be trying a new under eye setting powder. This is from Black Radiance. It's a loose powder and it's in the color Banana. This is my second time wearing it. It's okay. It's not bad, but it is a lot brighter than what I'm used to. I usually go for more of a natural type of under eye highlight, but this was pretty bright. And when I used it the day before, I did have a little flashback. So um, definitely less is more for my deeper toned girls with this color but I mean once I blended it out it didn't look bad so now I'm just setting my concealer with that powder and I'm going to do a little contouring today so I'm going along my jawline and for this part I am using my Laura Mercier uh, setting powder in the color deep it's the darker tone of the two <laughs> and then for my contour bronzing, I'm using this ColourPop bronzer. I can't think of the name, but it will be linked down below. And then I'm going to blend out all of my face using my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish and just to make sure that all the different powders and colors kind of blend seamlessly. And once I'm done with that, I went in and popped a little blush on my cheek. And I'm also going to be trying a new highlighter today. This is also from Black Radiance and it is their Artisan Color Baked Bronzer and it's in the color Ginger Snap. So I'm just applying this on the highs of my cheeks, above my top lip and on the tip of my nose. And then I'm going to set my face using this Milani All Night. Actually, I don't know what it's called, but it's the Milani uh, Setting Spray. And I also added some black liner to my bottom waterline. And then I'm going in with a pencil brush and just smudging that out and smoking it out a bit. And then I'm going to apply some mascara to my bottom lashes. Now for my lips, I'm going to do my infamous lip combination, which is a dark brown liner and a mix of Snob and Under the Sheets from MAC. I really try to do other lip combos, but I, I can never go wrong with this one and it's comfortable to wear unlike some matte lipsticks. So yeah, this is the final look. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, if you want any information on my hair, I'll leave the link to this tutorial down below. But thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!